फोर ट्वेल्व ओए यू थ्री डोंट रिक्लाइन ओके रिक्लाइन मत करना टेन इसको मना कर रहा हूँ मैं तो बोल दे उसे भाई हाँ डनिंग कम म्यूट कर डनिंग स्कूल एंड अ मच लव मेंबर ऑफ अ वाइनबर्ग एलेन फैमिली मिस टॉमी हजारुका हेड ऑफ इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट एट सेंट जॉर्जेस कॉलेज मसूरी राइटर एंड एजुकेटर मिस हजारुका बिलीव्स दैट द मोस्ट प्रेशियस गिफ्ट गिफ्ट इज द पावर टू इमेजिन टू ड्रीम टू बिलीव एंड टू क्रिएट Check, Mrs. Check. Nihazia Khan, an English teacher and librarian at Saint George's College since 2011. Mrs. Hello, Khan check. is also the supervising examiner for the ISC examination and Hello, a frequent check. visitor yeah. to Weinberg Allen in that capacity. Now, yeah. we thank you for taking out your precious check, check, time check. to officiate. check check in fact it wasn't like a vacation at all check check wait this has just come in
Check.
Check. Hello, hello. Check. Good evening.
A warm welcome to all. Let me begin by introducing our judges for this competition. Reverend Lazarus Cornelius, esteemed member of the board, Reverend Cornelius is also an alumnus of the school and a much loved member of our Weinberg Allen family. Miss Tommy Hazarika, head of English department at St. George's College, Missouri, writer and educator. Miss Hazarika believes that the most precious gift is the power to imagine, to dream, to believe and to create. Mrs. Nihazia Khan, an English teacher and librarian at St. George's College since 2011. Mrs. Khan is also the supervising examiner for the ISC examination and a frequent visitor to Weinberg Allen in that capacity. We thank you for taking out your precious time to officiate as judges for our inter-house junior school dramatics competition. Now let us go on a trip to an amazing chocolate factory. Allen House presenting Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a story of an ordinary little boy named Charlie Bucket. His family was not rich or powerful. In fact, they barely had enough to eat. Charlie Bucket was the luckiest boy in the entire world. He just didn't know it yet. Evening, Bucket. Evening. Hi, Dad. Soup's almost ready, darling. Just cabbage and water tonight, dear. Don't suppose there's anything extra to put in tonight? Oh, well, nothing goes better with cabbage than cabbage. Charlie, I found something I thought. Think you like Charlie's father worked in a local toothpaste factory. The hours were long and the pay was terrible. But sometimes there were unexpected surprises. It's exactly what I need. What is it, Charlie? Dad found it. Just the piece I needed. What piece is it? A head for Willy Wonka. It's quite a likeness. You think so? Think so? I know so. I saw Willy Wonka with my own two eyes. I used to work for him, you know. You did? I did. He did. He did. 25 years ago, Willy Wonka began a small shop on Cherry Street. But the whole world wanted his candy. Willy Wonka was a genius. Do you know he invented a new way of making chocolate ice cream? that it would stay cold for hours without a freezer. You could even leave it lying in the sun for hours on a hot day and it won't go runny. 
but that's impossible but willy wonka did it before long he decided to build a proper chocolate factory it was the biggest chocolate factory in the world 50 times as big as any ordinary chocolate factory the opening day was a media sensation but soon willy wonka was facing problems of his own all the other candy makers you see now had grown jealous of mr wonka they began sending in spies to steal a secret recipe the thievery got so bad that one day without warning willy wonka told every single one of his workers to go home he announced that he was closing his chocolate factory forever indeed that very night the impossible had already been set in motion willy wonka broke his silence a notice had been posted on the telephone poles and street corners all around the globe and from that day radios all around the world willy wonka's voice was heard for the first time in what seemed like ages dear people of the world i willy wonka have decided to allow five children to visit my factory this year in addition one of these children shall receive a special prize beyond anything you could ever imagine five golden tickets have been hidden underneath the ordinary wrapping paper of five ordinary wonka bars these five candy bars may be anywhere in any shop in any town in any country in the world i was eating a wonka bar i tasted something that wasn't a chocolate oh coconut oh walnut so i looked i found the golden ticket agastis how did you celebrate i ate more candy we knew agastis would find the golden ticket he eats a lot of candy bars that it was not possible for him not to find one Veruca spell your name for us please V E R U C A Veruca salt As soon as my Veruca told me she had to have one of these golden tickets I started buying all the Wonka bars I could find in the market
I didn't think that was really fair. She didn't find the ticket herself. Here you go. Oh, Wonka, Whipple, Scrumptious, Fudge Mellow Delight. I think I'd better wait until morning. Charlie, you mustn't be disappointed if you don't get one. Whatever happens, you'll still have the candy. We'll share it. It's your birthday present. You must eat it yourself. It's my candy bar and I'll do what I want with it. Wait, this has just come in. The third golden ticket has been found. We're live in Atlanta, Georgia with the third golden ticket finder. Miss Violet Buregard, Mrs. Buregard, why have you collected so many trophies? I'm just so proud, so proud. These are just a few of the 263 trophies my Violet has won. I am a gum chewer mostly, but when I heard about these ticket things, I laid off the gum and switched to candy bars. She's just a driven young woman. I don't know where she gets it. Smile for the camera, honey. You're representing mommy now. I am the junior world champion gum chewer. This piece of gum I'm working on right now, I've been chewing on for three months solid. And that's a record. Of course, I did have my share of trophies. Mostly batten. My Violet doesn't do batten. Not that I'd love her more if she did. I'm just saying. So this one kid's going to win the special prize better than all the rest. I don't care who the other four are because that kid is going to be me. Tell them why Violet. Because I am a winner. Just come in. The fourth golden ticket has been found. All you have to do is to check the manufacturing date offset by the weather and the serial number. A retard could figure it out. Most of the time, I don't know what he's talking about. You know, kids these days with all the technology. Die, die, die! Doesn't seem like this take kids very long. In the end, I only had to buy one candy bar. And how did it taste? I don't know. I hate chocolate. Now buzz off. The soprano is starting. If it's not video games, it's television or that internet office. He never seems to leave the screen. Is it healthy? I don't know.
Charlie, the toothpaste factory thought they'd give me a bit of time off. <coughs> like summer vacation? Sure, something like that. In fact, it wasn't like a vacation at all. The rise in the candy sales had led to a rise in cavities, which led to a rise in toothpaste sales. With the extra money, the company decided to modernize, employing a new machine to screw gaps, thus eliminating Mr. Bucket's job. We're barely making ends meet as it was. It will be alright. You'll find another job. Until then, I'll just thin down the soup a little more. Don't worry, Mr. Bucket. Our luck will change. I know it. Did you see that some kid in England for the last golden ticket? Yes, it was in the paper this morning. One Wonka, Bibble Scrubshes, Fudge Mellow Delight, please. Here you go. Bill, Bill, did you see the headline? The England ticket was a fake. The nerves of some people. I know. Forging a ticket? Come on. It's a golden ticket. You found Wonka's last golden ticket. Listen. I will buy it from you. I will give you fifty dollars and a new bicycle. Are you crazy? I will give you five hundred dollars for that ticket. Do you want to sell me your ticket for five hundred dollars, young man? No, that's enough of that. Leave the kid alone. Listen, boy. Take that ticket home and don't let anyone have it. Understand? Thank you. Last golden ticket. It's mine. Yeah, read it aloud. Let's hear exactly what it says. 
Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket by Mr. Wonka. I shake you warmly by the hand. For now, I do invite you to come to my factory and be my guest for one whole day. you around the factory myself, showing you everything there is to see. Afterwards, when it is time to leave, you will be escorted home by a procession of large trucks, each one filled with all the chocolates you could ever eat. And remember, one of you lucky winners will receive an extra prize beyond your wildest imaginations. Now here are your instructions. On the 1st of February, you must come at the factory gates 10 a.m. sharp. You are allowed to bring one of your family member to look after you. Until then, Willy Wonka. First of February? That's tomorrow! Then we've not a moment to lose. Come on Charlie, wash your face, brush your hair, blow your nose and clean your teeth. Now we must try to be calm and decide who will go with Charlie to the factory. I will. I'll take him. You leave it to me. What about you dear? Grandpa Joe knows more about it than we do and proves that he feels well enough. Yippee! No, we are not going. A woman offered me $500 for this ticket and I bet someone would pay more. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. Young man, come here. There's plenty of money in the world. They print more every day. But this ticket, there's only five of them in the whole world. Only a dummy would give up such a chance for something as common as money. Are you a dummy? No, sir. Then get that mud off your pants. You've got a factory to go to. Daddy, I want to go in. It's 9.59, sweetheart. Make time go faster. Do you think Mr. Wonka will recognize you? Hard to say. It's been years. Come, 
forward. Close the gates. Dear visitors, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to my tree. Who am I? Anywhere? Mr. Wonka, it sure is hot in here. What? Oh yes, my workers are used to an extremely hot climate. They just can't stand the cold. Who are the workers? All in good time now. Mr. Wonka, I'm Violet Beauregard. I don't care. Well, you should care because I am the girl who's going to win the special prize at the end. Well, you do seem confident and confidence is key. I'm Maruka Salt. It's nice to meet you, sir. Funny, I always thought a uh, veruca was a type of a wart that got stuck on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> I am Augustus Liu and I love your chocolate. Well, I can see that. So do I. I never expected we had so much in common. You, 
You're my TV. You're the little devil who cracked the system. And you. You're just lucky to be here, aren't you? And the rest of you must be there. Pe 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 Parents? Yeah. Moms and dads. Dad. Papa. Okay then. Let's move on. An important room this is. It is a chocolate factory after all. Then why is the door so small? To keep all the great big chocolatey flavor inside. Now, my dear children, do be careful. Don't get overexcited. Just keep very calm. It's beautiful. What? Oh, oh yes, it's very beautiful. Every drop of this river is hot melted chocolate of the finest quality. The waterfall is the most important bit. It mixes and churns the chocolate. By the way, no other chocolate factory in the world mixes its chocolate by a waterfall, my dear children. And take that to the bank. start a new piece because then I wouldn't be a champion I'd be a loser like you dad 
Daddy, look over there. It's a little person. There's more than two. Where do they come from? Who are they? Are they real people? Of course they're real people. They're Roomba Loompas. Imported direct from Loompa Land. There's no such place. What? Mr. Wonka, I teach high school geography. And I'm here to tell you that. Well, then you'll know all about it and what a terrible tree it is. They are such wonderful workers. But I feel I must warn you, they are rather mischievous, always making jokes. Augustus, that is not a good thing you do. Hey, boy, my river must be untouched by human hands. <gasps> he drowned. He can't swim. Save him, Augustus. Augustus, watch out the pipe. There he goes. Call, call the fire brigade. It isn't big enough. He's slowing down. He is going to stick. Help! I think he has. He's blocked the whole pipe. What are they doing? Well, I believe they're going to treat us to a little song. It is quite a special occasion, of course. They haven't had a fresh audience in many years. So big and vile, so greedy, foul and infantile Come on, we cry, the time is right To send him shooting up the pipe But don't dare children be alarmed Augustus Loop will not be harmed Augustus Loop will not be harmed Must admit, we will be altered quite a bit. Slowly wheels go round and round, and cogs begin to grind and pound. We'll boil it for a minute more, until we're absolutely sure that out he comes by God by grace. A miracle has taken place. A miracle has taken place. This pretty room, this house is here. Strawberry coated 
chocolate fudge. Then will it be made into a strawberry coated chocolate fudge? Will be the will he, will they be selling him a pound all over the world? No, I wouldn't allow it. The taste would be terrible. Imagine a gustish flavored chocolate gloop. Ew. Ew! No one would buy it. I want you to take Mrs. Gloop to the fudge room, okay? Help her find her son. Take a long stick and poke around the mixing barrel, okay? Now, let's move on. Mr. Wonka? Yeah? How would Augustus's name already be in the Oompa Loompa song? Unless the improvisation is a parlor trick. Anyone can do it. You, little girl, say something, anything. Chewing gum? Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum, I hate the most. See, the same thing. No, it isn't. You really shouldn't mumble because I can't understand a word you're trying to say. Now, let's move on. is the most important room in the entire factory. Yeah, enjoy, but please don't touch anything. Hey, Mr. Wonka. Yeah? What's this? Oh, let me show you. These are the everlasting gobstoppers. They're for children who get very little allowance money. You suck on it all year and it won't get smaller. Like gum? No. Gum is for chewing. If you try and chew a gobstopper, you'll break all your teeth off. I tried it on an Oompa Loompa yesterday. Oh, watch this. You mean that's it? Do you even know what that is? It's gum. Yeah, it's the stick of the most amazing sensational gum in the entire universe. Know why? Because this piece of gum is a full three-course dinner all by itself. Why would anyone want that? It will be the end.
of all kitchen and cooking just one piece of wonka's chewing gum will be all you need for breakfast lunch and dinner this piece of gum happens to be tomato soup roast beef and blueberry pie it sounds great it sounds weird it sounds like my kind of gum i'd rather you didn't there's still a few things i haven't got quite right yet i am the world record holder in chewing gum i am not afraid of anything how is it honey it's amazing the tomato soup i can feel it running down my throat yeah spit it out young lady i think you'd better it's changing roast beef with big potato this be skin and butter keep chewing you do my little girl is going to be the first person in the whole world to have a chewing gum me i'm just concerned about the blueberry pie and ice cream yeah that part what's happening to her nose she is turning blue your whole nose has gone purple what do you mean violet you're turning violet what's happening well i tried to warn you i hadn't got it right yet it's the blueberry pie that does it i what's terribly happening sorry. to me help me please what's happening Mr. Walker, do something. Well, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Mr. Wonka, what's happening to me? Help me! Help me, please! Please help! What's happening? Somebody help me, please! She's swelling up like a blueberry. Mother I've tried it on Oompa Loompas already, and all of them ended up as a blueberry. It's just weird. But I can't have a blueberry as a daughter. How is she supposed to compete? You could put her in a county fair. I want you to roll Miss Burigard into the boat. Take her to the juicing room. The juicing room? What are they going to do with her there? They are going to squeeze her like a little pimple. We'll have to take all that juice out of her immediately. Ada, what's happening? Help me! Help me, please. Now, let's boogie. Without the boat, we'll have to move double the time. There's still so much to see. I'm out. Mr. Wonka, ha? Huh? Why did you decide to let people in? Why to let them see the factory, of course. But why now? 
was the special prize and who is going to get it the best kind of prize is a surprise will violet always be a blueberry i don't know maybe but that's what you get for chewing gum all day it's really disgusting if you hate gum that much so why do you make it again you really shouldn't mumble because i can't understand a word you're trying to say I know all about. See, Mr. Wonka, I am in the nut sorting business. Yeah, squirrels. These squirrels are especially trained. to get the nuts out of the shells why use squirrels why not use oompa loompas because only squirrels can get the nut out of the shell each time daddy i want a squirrel get me one of those squirrels i want one boruk here You have many marvelous pets. All I've got at home is one pony, two dogs, four cats, six bunny rabbits, two parakeets, two canaries, a green parrot, a turtle, and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel. All right, I'll get you a squirrel just as soon as he possibly can. But I don't want. any old squirrel i want a trained one very well mr wonka how much do you want for one of those squirrels name your price oh they are not for sale he can't have one daddy i'm sorry darling mr wonka's being unreasonable if you won't get me one of those squir- squirrels I'll get one myself. Baruka, uh, little girl. Baruka, come back here at once. Little girl, don't touch those squirrels' nuts. It will make him crazy. I'll have you. Baruka, Daddy, I want them to stop. Help me. Are they doing? They're seeing if she's a bad nut. Ah! Oh! Looks like she's a bad nut after all. Ah! Help me, Daddy! Do something! Where are they taking her? They're taking her to the garbage chute. Then where does the shoot go? To the incinerator.
the fish head, for example, cut this morning from a halibut. An oyster from an oyster stew, a steak that no one else would chew, and lots of other things as well. Somewhere. If that's the case, you simply need to reach out and grab her. Now, let's keep on trucking. Watch this. There it is. You reach out and grab it. It's just a picture. Scared cat. You reach out and grab it. Holy buckets! Come on, eat it. It's the same candy bar, but it just got smaller on the journey. It's great! It's a miracle! So imagine you're sitting at home watching television and a commercial comes. Willy Wonka's chocolates are the best in the world. If you don't believe us, try one for yourself. 
yourself. And you simply reach out and grab it. How's that? So could you send other things like breakfast cereal? Do you even know what breakfast cereal is made of? It's those little curly wooden shavings you find in pencil sharpeners. How about people? Why would I want to send people? They don't taste very good. Don't you realize what you have invented? It's a teleporter. One of the most important inventions in the history of the world. And all you think about is chocolate. Calm down, Mike. I think Mr. Wonka knows what he's talking about. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any idea. And you think he's a genius? <sighs> Little boy, don't push my button. He's gone. Let's go to the television and see what we get. Try every channel you possibly can. I'm starting to feel anxious. I hope none of his parts get left behind. What do you mean? Well, sometimes only half the pieces make it all the way through. If you had to choose any half of your son, which half would it be? What kind of a question is that? No need to snap. It's just a question. Somebody grab him! Help me! Help me! Oh, thank heavens! He's completely unharmed! Unharmed? What are you talking about? Well, there's no other way. It's a television, not a telephone. Then what do you propose to do about it? I don't know. But young men are extremely springy and they stretch like mad. We'll have to put him in the taffy puller. Taffy puller? <sighs> Boy, is he going to be skinny. Yeah. Taffy puller. I want you to take Mr. TV and his little boy to the taffy puller. Stretch him out completely.
many children are left? Mr. Wonka, Charlie's the only one left. You mean you're the only one? Yes. What happened to the others? Oh, my dear boy, that means you won. Oh, I do congratulate you, really. I knew it from the beginning. It was going to be you. Now, let's not dilly or dally. There's still numerous of things for us to do before the day's over. But thankfully for us, we have the great glass elevator to speed things along. Augustus, please don't eat your fingers. But I taste so good. Quick, yard, fast. Look, mother, I'm even more flexible now. Yes, but you're blue. He gave us a ride home. I can see that. He says that Charlie's won something. Not just something, but the most something there's ever been. I'm going to give him my entire chocolate factory. You must be joking. No, really. It's true. You see, a month ago, I was having my semi-annual haircut and I found the strangest thing, a strand of grey hair, my first grey hair. In that one silver strand, I saw my whole life's work, my factory, my beloved Oompa Loompas, who was going to look after them when I was gone. I decided I must find a hair. And I did, Charlie. You. All because I won a golden ticket? Yes. So, are you ready to leave this all behind? And come live with me at the factory? Of course. I mean, if it's all right, if my family comes too? Oh, my dear boy, of course they can't. You can't run a factory and have a family over you. No offense. None taken. A chocolate here? must run free and solo. He must follow his dreams. Look at me. I had no family and now I am a big success. So you mean if I go with you to the factory 
I will never see my family again. Yeah, take that as a bonus. Then I'm not going. I wouldn't give up my family for anything. Not for all the chocolate in the world. Oh, well, that's unexpected. There's other candies too besides chocolate. I'm sorry, Mr. Wonka, but I'm staying here. Oh, well, then I'll just say goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Wonka. Sure you won't change your mind anytime soon? I'm sure. Okay. crew of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Backstage helpers Abhiraj Sajdeva and Rachit Agarwal. News reporter Saksham Sharma. Shopkeeper Bill Arav Singh. Herbert and Carmen Divya Agarwal and Arush Goyal. Random customer 1 Ananya Mehgotia. Random customer 2 Shanaya Chaudhary. Mrs. Levi Jeshna Pannu. My TV, Abir Singh Kantura, Mr. TV, Rajwing Singh Barar. Violet Buregard, Aradhya Gupta, Mrs. Buregard, Divreet Kaur Barar. Varuka Salt, Myra Chikara, Mr. Salt, Vihan Sharma. Augustus Gloop, Yashwan Singh Pundir, Mrs. Gloop, Vida Sharma. Charlie's father, Eklavya Spal Singh. Charlie's mother, Siddhika Agarwal. Grandpa Joe, Conan Ali Peer Mohammed. Charlie Bucket, Rayat Ashish Jaiswal. Willie Wonka, Deeksha Singh. Girl Dancers, Shanaya Chaudhary, Ashvi Chaurasia, Nandani Choksi, Zendin Lama, Alia Joseph, Vidanshi Sinha, Niyati Agarwal, Akansha Mittal, Samaira Bhandari, Aradhya Bhatt, Divisha Agarwal, Ivana Gupta, Naira Jandu. Boy Dancers 
आयरन कुमार अभिराज सचदेवा गिरवान मित्तल पार्थ अग्रवाल अक्षत यादव श्री पदम गोस्वामी दिव्य अग्रवाल आरुष गोयल एंड एरन विंडलिस अर्णव गुप्ता आतिफ अली अंसारी नील गौर विशाल रतूड़ी अथर्व गोयल रिदित मित्तल विराज गुप्ता स्क्विरल्स अरिहंत सिंह टेंजन डैसिल नमन नवांग योयल तमंग नेतन मेहता आर्या बरनवाल नरेटर माई सेल्फ रुवीर भाटिया वी वुड लाइक टू थैंक वी वुड लाइक टू थैंक सर टिंडेल मिस्टर चौहान मैम मनी मिस्टर क्रेक टिंडेल एंड एस टीम स्पेशल थैंक्स टू पारितो सक्सेना आरुष चहल लक्ष्य गोयल क्रिशिव जैन एंड गर्व अग्रवाल फॉर देयर हेल्प विद द माइक्स एंड बैक स्टेज मिस्टर एंड मिसिज सरकार फॉर हेल्पिंग अस विद द डांसेस मिस्टर एंड मिसिज सिंह फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग टी एंड डिलीशियस मील ऑन टाइम निकिल मनी सर एंड हिज टीम रंजीत भैया सुनील भैया फॉर रीचिंग अस टू जूनियर स्कूल आफ्टर एवरी प्रैक्टिस एंड द होल वाइन बगैलन फैमिली Thank you